Here's a nice fat chubby Camellia japonica here and these flowers are just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to get a few of these. They, they had some uh, demonstrator models over by the uh, information center of what was blooming right now. So I'll get a few different types of these uh, Camellia. But people struggle to grow these in Vero and on the Treasure Coast, but I think it's just too whatever there and they flourish here obviously. Here's a white flower, Camellia japonica. They have the varieties listed back at the thing, so if I find a pen or something, I'll write down what, you, what each of these are. Bees. Yes, the bees seem to love them too. Here's yet another Camellia japonica. This one has a really nice, nice tight display. Very pretty. So here's the different cultivars of the camellias. Methodiana, something they're calling high fragrance. This is Kesawada, Cinnamon Cindy, Frizzle White. That one's got a generic term to it. Terry Gilly, Royal Velvet. We didn't see all of those out there. Some roses. These are all samples of what they had in bloom right now. A red velvet camellia to round out the collection of camellias that I was able to find. I don't know, I couldn't find the variegated one, but this red velvet's very impressive. Here's one with a little variation in it, or little pink stripes camellia. These are called sea foam. One of the landscapers just drove by and she gave me the name of this one. Very nice. Real pretty presentation there.